Hi everyone, welcome back and happy new year 2019. It's my first video being back home here in New York since the new year so I figured I'd start it off with a little comfort food recipe. So I figured I'd share one of my favorite comfort foods with you all. It's for fried baigan with edos and saltfish. So usually you'd see fried baigan with aloo or potato and saltfish but I prefer the creaminess of the edos. I just prefer edos over aloo. It gives such a nice creaminess to the dish. So I hope you try it out. If you want to see how I do it, keep watching. So to get started, I have some baigan or eggplant. These are the Japanese or the Chinese eggplant. I find that they cook very similar to the baigan back home. I have edos. Two slices of saltfish and I prepare this by boiling it twice. So I usually boil it for about 10 to 15 minutes each time because I want to get the salt out of there. And after it's boiled, I pat it dry with some paper towels and then I deep fry it until it's nice and crispy. And then I break it up into the dish when I'm cooking. And to chunky the pot, I have onion. I have some garlic. I'm using about 10 to 12 cloves of garlic. A hot pepper. You can use as much or as little hot pepper as you want. I'm using a few chili peppers also just for a little extra flavor and I have some seasoning peppers or pimento peppers and then you'll need some salt and some oil to fry the saltfish and then to chunky the pot. So now it's time to prepare all the ingredients so we can start cooking. So here's how I prepare the bacon and the arroz. So I've added some oil to my pot on medium high heat and I'm going to add some onions in there. I want the onions to cook until they become translucent and then we can add the other ingredients in. After about a minute and a half and the onions are translucent, add the minced garlic in, the chili, pimento and hot peppers. Let it chunky for about a minute to a minute and a half again and then we'll add the bacon and the arroz in. So after about a minute, once the onions and the garlic and everything are sauteed well, now I like breaking up the fried saltfish in there. If you didn't want to fry it before, then you can just flake it and just saute it a little bit in the hot oil with the aromatics. Stir that well and then add the chopped baigan and the arroz in there. And you want to stir it around just to get everything well incorporated in the pot and then cover it lower your heat all the way down to low because you want this to steam so depending on the type of baigan you use you may need to add a little bit of water so i'm covering mine and i'll come back and show you what it looks like so after about 20 minutes of steaming on low heat the baigan and the arrows have kept their shape a bit but they seem to be cooked already so i'm just stirring it around and at this point, if you want, you can add just a little bit of water if you want to have a little sauce with your baigan and arroz. I like mine dry, so I'm going to leave it to steam again. I'm going to cover it again for the next 10 minutes, and then it should be ready by that time. And if you want at this point too, you can take your spoon and just kind of mash it a little bit. I do like to mash the arroz. I like to leave it whole. So if you want to, you can just mash the baigan a little bit, just to get it to soften up a bit. Those 10 minutes were perfect because the edos kept its shape and the baigan got nice and soft, but it's not too soft. So at this point, it's good enough for me, depending on how you like it. You can cook it more or you can leave it as it is, but at this point, it's ready to be served. So all you do now is taste it, see if it needs salt or pepper or anything else. You can finish it up with some sive or scallion or green onion and some chopped bandana or shadow benny. So I'm going to turn it off and I'll show you what I'm saving it with. 
So here's the finished bygone with Edo's and Saltfish. I hope you all enjoyed it. I'm saving it today with sada roti and basap shato parata just because I couldn't make up my mind. And then I was hoping that Kevin would break his diet. So I was kind of, you know, tempting him with some parata because I know he is a glutton for parata roti or basap shot. So I was trying nothing. But I hope you all enjoyed the recipe. Be sure to leave me all your comments, questions, suggestions down below in the comment box. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And hit that little bell next to the subscribe button. Just so that every video that I post you'll be notified. So until I see you all in my next video. Bye.